Before we get started with the steps, check if you have everything you need. If you are in Windows 7 or 8, you might have trouble doing step 3 since the earlier versions of Windows are no longer supported. But there's still hope for you. I linked a page in the description that might help you with it. Now if you have everything ready, let's start. Step 1. Create an organization. Click the link in the description to start creating one. You need to be logged into the Oculus website first to do so. Just pick any name, no one else can see it but you. Step 2. Enable Developer Mode Open the Oculus app on the device you use to set up your quest. Go to Settings, tap on your device name to connect, go to More Settings, tap on Developer Mode and turn it on. Step 3. Install ADB Drivers. This step is for Windows users only. If you're in a Mac or Linux, you can proceed to the next step. Click the link in the description to go to the download page. You can view the contents of the zip file, but it won't give you an option to install unless you extract the contents first. So go ahead and right-click on the zip and choose Extract. Open the extracted folder and the one inside it. And finally, right-click Android underscore WinUSB and click Install. Step 4. Install SideQuest. Click this link in the description to go to the SideQuest download page and download the version that is compatible with your system. I'm on Windows 10 so I'm downloading the Windows installer. Step 5. Enable USB Debugging This is the status of the connection. It's currently not connected, so get your USB cable ready. If you have a USB-C port in your computer, you can use the charging cable that the Quest came with. But it might not work for some people, and even if it works now, I wouldn't recommend this cable when sideloading or installing big games and apps because it's not reliable, and you'll just be wasting your time waiting for something that's gonna keep failing. Another cable that works is my Mac charger. Just like the Quest charging cable, it's not reliable. Both are not meant for data transfers. This is a USB A to C cable I got from Miniso and it works perfectly. This is an Anchor USB 3 to USB C and it works perfectly too. Using your USB cable, connect your headset to your computer and you will see the status change to an authorized allowing headset. So that's what you're gonna do. Put your headset on, click not now, click allow, and then click always allow, and then okay. Now it's connected, but if you can't get past the allow access to data message box and get the allow USB debugging message box to appear, here's what you should do. Open your task manager by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete or simply typing it on search. In the background processes, find these three and click End Task for each. It's not hard to find since it's in alphabetical order. This is my first time to encounter this, so thanks to the YouTube user who commented on my Beat Saber tutorial a few days ago, you saved me the trouble. Now reconnect your cable and try again. And that's it! You've set up SideQuest in 5 minutes. You're ready to sideload games and apps to your quest. If you want to learn how to sideload and the other basic functions of SideQuest, check my other video.